Welcome, dear viewers, to Rosenbauer's online product days. I'm not a firefighter myself, but when I think of the fire department, the first thing that comes to mind is, well, firefighting. The first image that always comes to my mind is a person holding a hose that shoots water and extinguishes the flames of a burning building. Well, by now, I know a little better. It's not always just water that comes out of the hose. There's also a mixture of water and foam agent that can be used, depending on the situation. And of course, you know that the water doesn't come directly from the hose either, but from the so-called nozzle. And that's exactly what today's webinar is all about. Joining me in the studio is Christian Bachmeier, the responsible product manager at Rosenbauer. Let's see if he'll tell us a few things about a completely new type of nozzle. Hello, Christian. Hello, Clemens. I'm curious, what does Rosenbauer have to offer that's so new in the field of nozzles? Clemens, before I start, I'd like to take a step back. You just said that when you hear the words fire department, you immediately think of the firefighter holding a nozzle. There's a reason for that, of course. After all, the nozzle is the firefighting tool for fire departments all over the world. That's why Rosenbauer also has a great deal of experience in this field. We've been developing firefighting nozzles for over 20 years. Our signature product so far has been the Select Flow series. But toward the end of last year, we introduced what I think is fair to say is a brand new benchmark in this field, the RTE-FX. Let me tell you a little bit about it. As I mentioned earlier, the nozzle is the firefighting tool worldwide. And that's exactly what the new innovation was all about. A nozzle for fire departments worldwide with two major goals in focus. Maximum safety and maximum durability. It's interesting that you mentioned durability. You brought us an RTE FX, of course, and I have to say, it feels extremely robust. This is due to the materials we used. They simply convey robustness from the moment you pick it up. But apart from high-quality materials such as aluminum and stainless steel, there are also other elements that contribute to this. Let me steal the nozzle from you for a minute, if you don't mind. In this series, we rely on an even more robust fixed teeth ring made of aluminum, which can withstand even the toughest loads during an operation. Furthermore, we have protective caps and dampening elements at the exposed points, like here and here. And then we have another innovation in the front area, the FX absorber. As you can see, the water supply elements are extra spring-loaded to protect them in case of impact. Just try it yourself. And with this I can break a window if necessary, right? You could even break a window with it if necessary. Okay, so the nozzle is pretty tough. The second important point for you in the whole development was safety. What can you tell me about that? First of all, I should explain what we mean when we say safety. In the case of the nozzle, safety means the simplest, most intuitive, and therefore safest handling. This means that you should be able to do the right thing automatically, blindly, under pressure, and in extremely stressful situations. Imagine you're a firefighter wearing SCBA indoors with zero visibility. It's the middle of the night, it's hot and loud, in a building you don't know. And you have to rescue people or fight a fire. These are extreme challenges. In such situations, operating the nozzle should not be an additional burden to you. And that's why we have placed the highest value on developing a 100% intuitive way to handle the RTE FX. We called it fast attack design. That certainly sounds quick. I immediately noticed that the RTE FX is not round but angular shaped. Does that have anything to do with the fast attack design? Absolutely. Because of the angular shape, you always see, feel, and know exactly its current setting. When you put the settings into a certain shape, it results in the fast attack position, which is the initial or basic setting for indoor firefighting. Christian, you mentioned the initial setting, that is, when the nozzle surfaces align. But what does that mean? Is this something like a standard setting? Unfortunately, there is no standard operation in firefighting. Every situation is different. But there is an international school of thought in terms of which settings are useful in a modern municipal fire. And we have illustrated this with our fast attack position. With it, you have a safe basic setting with which, in principle, you can't go wrong and which you can use as a safe departure point. Furthermore, it gives you something like an anchor point when your adrenaline spikes in the field. 
I see. You said you can take the fast attack position as a point of departure. Does this mean that you can still adjust the nozzle in the settings? Yes. As I said before, there is no such thing as a standard operation. Every fire event is different and changes over its course. That's why it is possible to adjust both the maximum flow rate and the spray angle. And when it comes to adjusting the spray angle, we have achieved a very smooth transition between spray jet and full jet. This means that the right ratio between throw range and extinguishing effect can be set in every situation. It was a real technical challenge, and I am extremely proud of it. Another novelty is the heart of any nozzle, the valve block. There are two systems on the market, on the one hand, a ball valve, and, on the other, the slide valve, installed here. The great advantage of the slide valve is that you have a clean jet pattern in every position of the handle. For one, this makes me even more flexible, since I can regulate the desired flow rate via the handle. In case of smaller fires, this allows me to reduce the water damage. However, I also have advantages indoor firefighting when attacking with so-called pulsing, that is, by delivering only short water blasts to the ceiling to cool the smoke gas. This is because the nozzle can be opened and closed more quickly than with a ball valve. And, furthermore, with this method, the nozzle is almost exclusively in the opening and closing phase. Here too, I always have a good spray pattern with the slide valve, and thus the optimal extinguishing or cooling effect. What I've been asking myself all along, what is the loop back there for? Is it to hang the nozzle somewhere? Glad you noticed that. Building an extremely robust RTE effects and designing it so as to maximize safety wasn't enough for us. As we were developing it, we also paid attention to the smaller details. One of them is this hook. It allows you to hang the nozzle or buckle it to pull it up a staircase, for example. Another detail is the handle. Small rubber nubs in a checkerboard pattern provide the best grip, and the pattern still makes it easy to clean. We have here a universal handle without finger recesses, which is slightly more pointed at the front to ensure optimal twisting safety, and wider at the back to better absorb the pressure in the heel of the hand. Of course, the handle can also be removed. This makes the nozzle extremely flat. In conjunction with the handlebar, which is very flat in both extreme positions, open and closed, we were able to make it relatively long, which in turn makes the handling more receptive and still able to achieve a very small pack size in the hose-carrying basket or vehicle. Sounds like you guys thought of everything. We've put all our efforts into it. So let me briefly summarize. The Rosenbauer RTE FX is an extremely durable, robust, and reliable tool. It can be operated intuitively, which is to say you almost automatically do everything right with it. And there are some smart details that make it even easier to work with. That's exactly right. Well, then all that's left for me to say is thank you, Christian, for telling me and the visitors of our online product days what it is that makes the new Rosenbauer nozzle so unique. Thanks also to you, dear viewers, for watching. For more information about the RTE FX, visit rosenbauer.com. And if you have any questions, our experts are now on standby in the chat room. Until next time, goodbye. Goodbye.